We're going to start by talking about the babies. You know, a lot of parents find it really complicated to move them from uh, the breast or from the bottle into solid foods. We're going to talk about that right now with Nanny Rubina. Give her a big round. Come on in here. And we have our uh, two moms and two babies right now because what a lot of parents are doing these days is they're getting the babies to lead. Yes. So when my kids were little and it was time to get them onto solids, we would be putting the food into their mouths. Now, a lot of parents are chopping up the food, they're putting it out there for the babies, like Harrison here, who is a very good eater, and this is Dawn, uh, his mom, and, and we're le letting them decide to eat it themselves. That's baby-led weaning, right? That's right, we, it is, but it's completely avoiding mushy foods and feeding the baby all together from day one. Which for some from day people, one. from day one, so you don't introduce any foods with baby led weaning yeah. that needs to be fed by a spoon. You immediately go onto solids and you let the baby explore the foods and eat themselves. So no purees at all, but we're still talking about waiting until they're what, about four, Absolutely. four months? Absolutely. You know what, I, th I really think you need to get the okay from your doctor, from your pediatrician, uh -huh. to make sure that they're at that point where they can do that. Baby right. led weaning is not for everyone, and I think there's a big misconception about what it is. Okay. Um, all right. Oh, so, so okay, okay this, this, that is typical of what can happen with baby led weaning. Because they're going to cough a little bit, they're, they're not having the pureed peas, he's having little strawberries, little avocado, all really good stuff, he's loving it, obviously. Yes. Um, but yeah, you, you kind of have to watch what you're giving them. Absolutely. You know, I was, I was kind of shocked and horrified because when I, <laughs> I was Googling a picture and I find an entire baby carrot in the baby's mouth. Yeah, no. Out, a drumstick. Yeah. It's not about feeding huge adult oh. foods. It's about feeding babies yeah. solids before the mush, basically. It's about avoiding the purees and going straight onto solids. Now, the true meaning of baby led weaning probably won't always happen because, you're natural, because of your natural instinct. The key is you just allow the baby to feed and you never feed the baby. You mm -hmm. allow the baby to feed as much as they want. Mm -hmm. Well, in the early days, if you don't have good coordination, there's not a lot of food going in, it's going to drop down his bib. That's right. Yeah. Mom here, I know for a fact, she gives him a helping hand. So Right, you're helping him along, but yes. are you letting him lead the way at home? At home, I let him lead the way most of the time, yes. but sometimes I can't help but feed him <laughs> for sure. because I want to make sure he's getting getting something and a lot of I think a lot of parents feel that way I remember feeling like there's no way you're getting the amount of calories in you that you should be right now and yeah. that was parent led weaning that yes. was me feeding him yes. it's like none of it was going in but so. the true meaning is for you to avoid that altogether yeah because they say that the baby can eat as much as they want and they're getting the right amount mm, you know what I'm on the bench about that bit, okay. to be quite honest because right. I sat I sat I sat with um, Donna just recently and we watched it. There's no way he had enough, right. you know, so you do need to give them a, yeah. a little help in hand. So um, Harrison is eight and a half months. When do you say you can start letting them do this? Around what month? Six months from the first day of solid food. Okay, from, from the, the first day, day of you're solid leaving foods. milk, yeah. you then go on to baby solid food. So we have a, a six month old baby here. Let's so go now and he's starting, see Blake. Now he's starting, Blake started off, now he's got some big old vegetables going on here, but the bib is clearly more tasty than the broccoli right Always. now. Always. <laughs> so like, you know, fairly substantial trees of broccoli here. Um, but he's been really good about gnawing on it. And what's great about this is you can get them into those green, hi. I would rather have a broccoli like this than to have pureed broccoli yes. any day, but I'm not a baby. There you go. Um, you can get them into their greens and maybe get them loving it or maybe not. What if they're just gnawing at it you and know, they're not taking well, anything in? You know in? what, that's the point. With one of these, he can actually hold it and he can gnaw on it himself. But you've got to pay very close attention because if you're giving baby food this size, it's quite possible that he's going to pull a big chunk off, maybe too much in his mouth, and then you're going to have a gagging problem. Not just a gagging problem, possibly a choking problem. Yeah. So I actually, you know, what I do encourage is pick, is choosing baby foods that are very, very small yeah. and don't forget the texture. Just because they're having solid food, it doesn't mean they can sit and eat a crunchy carrot. Right. You still want the texture to be extremely, look, if you can squash it between your fingers, and I won't give it you to eat now, buddy. <laughs> if you can squash it between your fingers very, very easily, mm -hmm. that's the kind of texture yes. you want. You still want it very soft. Yeah. You have to remember, he's going to be chewing with his gums. Right. He's going to be swallowing. One of the things that you need to be aware of is there's generally, in the early days, there's a lot of gagging. Okay, really? Like that would freak me out. It does. It, it scares a lot of parents. Some of them pull away because of that. Yeah. But one of the things you have to know is, you know, babies have amazing gagging reflexes, as you probably know as a mother. Yeah. You know, whatever's gone down, if it wasn't meant to go down, they generally right chuck it up. up. 
But what I would suggest, in all honesty, is you know what? Go get your CPR before you do it. You know, every every parent actually should, should have, have that anyway. Anyways. Yes, That's why absolutely. they've got baby Blake. CPR. Yeah. It's really, really important yeah. to do. I know I did that. Um, do you let Blake uh, sort of take the lead at home when it comes to the feeding, Jocelyn? I do because he puts everything in his mouth, so it might as well be nutritious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so are you a control freak like me? Like, will you let him just go at it? Or do you help out a bit? I help him once in a while. Yeah. But I do give him puree food after as well. Oh, so you're doing a little bit of both. A and little I, bit of both. We'll yeah. probably find that a lot with parents. I they're think sort so. of figuring out the way. Listen, we put it on City Line because this is what is happening in homes across Canada. We're not endorsing it or saying no. do not no. do it, but this is actually what people are trying. So if you are going to do it, don't give them a chicken leg. No. Figure out the stuff that you should be putting. My goodness, I can't believe on the high yeah, chair. Absolutely. You've still got to keep in mind it's a baby. It's yeah. baby food. I just want to show you here some of the foods that he can eat. If I was doing cheese, yeah. I'm going to make sure the cheese is grated. It's very small. This is where you would start. Very soft, very small. And of course, as your baby grows, then you can go into slightly, uh, you know, bigger chunks. Right. But by then, he's already established how to chew and how to swallow. Right. If you were to start right off here. Yeah, you're probably going to get a lot of gag. Yeah, so it's going to be sure. a lot of that going on. Yeah, th these are nice little small chunks. And also, you know, if you're on a diet and you need to lose weight to get into that little tight dress, just eat like this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at it that actually kind of looks good. Yeah, that, that would be an appetizer for me, I can yeah, tell you that. I don't know. That's the pre-meal. <laughs>